ladies, thanks for viewing this video. This is a quick update on my Fablix Wigs by Sylvia closure wig that I had custom made for me. The last video I did, which was the install of this wig, simply just putting it on, no sewing or anything needed, no glue or whatever. It has combs and adjustable straps in the wig. But I realized that it didn't look as natural as it could have looked in that video. Plus, I did tell you guys I used a... Uh, um, a stocking cap that was not even close to my skin tone so it may have looked even worse on camera um, it didn't look too bad in person but yes yeah, still it was not very natural looking anyways the part that was missing was the fact that I did not tweeze the part because I was too scared on possibly over tweezing so I had been avoiding it for the longest but I finally decided to do it and yeah, I did unfortunately do what I feared I was going to do. I did over tweeze it. But I get the lesson learned that tweezing the part on a closure is just as important as bleaching and all that other stuff because it definitely makes for a more defined part. So here is the part. Oh, sorry. And I honestly don't think it looks too, too bad, but I do know that I probably over tweezed it a little bit too wide. Um, I posted a picture of my closure wig to a hair uh, group I'm on. Um, I joined on Facebook. It's called Weave Divas. And a lady suggested that I use like an eyeliner pencil or maybe, um, I think it was an eyeshadow or something like that to mask the grids that I over tweezed. So I did do a little black eyeliner. I'm not sure if you guys was able to see that. So, yeah, I don't think it looks too, too bad now, and I'm going to leave it alone because I don't want to, like, ruin it anymore. And plus, you know, this wig was $250, and I am not, not going to risk doing anything else. Um, what I am going to do, though, is, like, deep condition this hair because um, it is feeling a little bit dry and a little bit tangly at the ends. But, of course, that is my fault. That's not anything due to... Um, Sylvia because when she sent the wig to me it was pretty much flawless so I have some work to do in getting this wig back to being uh, great and in order and plus I need to put some flexi rods in it um, I try to stay away from heat too much in my own natural hair so uh, with having virgin hair that's pretty much going to be the same concept I'm going by um, so I will mostly be using flexi rods even though I did straighten the hair one time just to kind of see how it would flow straight and it looked great but like I said I'm gonna try to avoid heating tools if I can alright so ladies um I noticed I got a couple of uh, more subscribers since my last video so hey how are you ladies doing I would like some more participation you know if I hope that's not too much to ask for because I know the big gurus they constantly getting comments and stuff and yeah I know I'm not a big guru but I would like some more participation if you did subscribe to me. You know, I kind of want to go through this hair experience with everybody. I think I see a couple of pros as subscribers on my channel. You know, give me some tips, ladies. Or if you're new, you know, tell me how it has been for you and your virgin hair journey and closures and all that good stuff. Let's just share, you know. Um, and shout out to Evie here on YouTube. Um, she's been my best supporter here. And I support her channel as well. She found me, I think, on Inst No, I think she found me here on YouTube. And we found each other on Instagram. So I will actually leave a link to her channel down below. So you guys can go subscribe. Uh, it's a wonderful channel. So, on that note, ladies. I need to go eat because I swear I'm like stuttering. And I just need to get my life. Alright, I will bring you guys a new video soon. And I'll talk to you guys later.